Hello guys, today I am going to demonstrate you how to reduce an elbow dislocation. Elbow is usually dislocated posteriorly like in this case. It is a very simple maneuver. So, I will demonstrate you if you are encountering a patient with elbow dislocation, how to reduce it properly. So, this is our patient. She is a 25 year old lady who unfortunately fell on the right hand on a wet surface and sustained this injury. So, if you look at uh, the lateral. Uh, this clearly a posterior um, dislocation of uh, the right elbow. If you see the right side, um, the radius and ulna have gone medially. So, this is a posterior medial dislocation of right elbow and I will show you how to reduce them. So, in terms of position, uh, you can keep the patient lateral or you can keep it supine or some patients can, uh, you can put it prone if you are using a Stimson technique or gravity method. But what I do is I abduct the shoulder or flex the shoulder to up to 90 degrees and then elbow this is the maximum flexion that the patient is allowing me and then I have an assistant who is going to give counter traction. Now my job is that my both the hands the fingers are going to be in the front of the humerus and this both the thumb will be on the tip of the olecranon and this is quite prominent. So if you see this, this is quite swollen but this prominence here, this prominence here and you can see if you see the curve of the triceps it is going this way. So, this is the prominent olecranon. So, counter traction by your assistant and then I am just going to push it. So, I am just waiting for my anesthetics uh, to give some uh, analgesia and then I will show you how I reduce it. Now, you can do this procedure in emergency as well if you have facility of giving gas and air like nitrous uh, so that you can minimize the pain. In rural areas, if you do not have anything, then unfortunately you can do this uh, procedure uh, even in emergency and this will hurt the patient slightly, but then as soon as uh, the dislocation reduces, the pain goes away. Uh, today, I have brought this patient to theater uh, because I try my best to make it as pain free as possible. Um, so, let us hope that it does not give her a uh, lot of pain. So, now what I am going to do is uh, Pradeep is going to give us a pull. I am going to give counter traction and with my thumb I will try to reduce it. So, now you saw that clunk. Uh, now, this because of swelling this was slightly difficult, but the same thing can be uh, done very easily in fresh uh, fractures, but key is to give traction, counter traction and your thumb will be the force on the olecranon and that usually reduces. Once it reduces, the pain goes away. So, as with any other uh, dislocations, the next step will be to ensure that you have reduced it congruently. So, we will take some images. So, you can see both AP and lateral, uh, this is nicely reduced, uh, this elbow was quite unstable. Um, but however, we have reduced it nicely and we will immobilize in plaster for around 3 weeks. So, viewers, this was a demonstration of how to reduce a dislocated elbow. Uh, usually, if it is a fresh case, it comes out uh, very easily. Uh, cases in which there is an injury to uh, more than one ligaments, then reduction can be quite difficult or it can be unstable. Now, here reduction was not that difficult, but once it was reduced, as soon as I was trying to extend the elbow, uh, it was getting um, subluxed and, or, or uh, dislocated again. So, we had to immobilize this patient in plaster for around 3 weeks. But if you follow the principle, you should be able to reduce elbow with ease every single time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.